China is now urging Washington to correct sanctions imposed on Chinese companies accused of helping Iran acquire materials for its nuclear program. U.S. pressure on Iran and its long-arm jurisdiction against companies and third countries is the root cause of tension with Tehran. China has consistently and resolutely opposed the United States imposing unilateral sanctions and so-called jurisdiction over other countries, including China, said the spokesman Gang Shuang. He also said, we urge the United States to immediately correct this wrong approach and earnestly respect the legitimate rights and interests of all parties. The United States Treasury said on Thursday it had imposed sanctions on what it called a network of front companies and agents, and it also said they're based in Iran, China, and Belgium. The Treasury gave no details but said the purchases violated U.N. restrictions on materials that can be used for nuclear programs. This is USA Radio News. Someone in Mississippi may be slipping fentanyl into batches of hair. Heroin. USA Radio's Rick Vincent has more. A deadly batch of heroin may have killed as many as six people in Mississippi. Some officials say it may have included fentanyl. Mississippi Bureau of Narcotics Director John Dowdy says that mistake could easily be fatal. It doesn't take but one microgram of fentanyl to kill somebody. And so if you have somebody that's uh, purchasing a gram of uh, fentanyl and ingesting you know, any part of that at one time, the chances of death are are uh, about 100 percent. American crocodiles once headed toward extinction are now thriving at an unusual spot, the canals surrounding a South Florida nuclear plant. Last week, 73 crocodile hatchlings were rescued by a team of specialists at Florida's Power and Light Turkey Point nuclear plant, and dozens more are expected to emerge soon. Turkey Point's 168 miles of man-made canal service home to several hundred crocodiles where a team of specialists worked to protect them from hunting and climate change. This is USA Radio News. British Airways and Lufthansa both said they're suspending flights to Cairo for unspecified reasons related to safety and security. The British carrier says it's canceling flights to the Egyptian capital for at least one week, and the German airline said normal operations would resume over the next week. British Airways attributed the cancellations to what it called its constant review of security arrangements at all airports, calling them, quote, a precaution to allow for further assessment, end of quote. Lufthansa said it's suspending flights as a precaution, mentioning safety but not necessarily security as its concern. They come as Britain weighs its response to Iran's seizure of a British-flagged oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz and rising tensions stemming from U.S. sanctions and the effect on Iran's economy. ESPN is reminding its employees of the network's policy to avoid talking politics after radio show talk host Dan Libetard criticized President Donald Trump in his recent racist comments and ESPN itself on the air this week. The reminder went out over the weekend to all employees, including Libetard, according to an ESPN employee who spoke on the condition of anonymity. ESPN has not spoken publicly about whether he faces any disciplinary action. Libetard also declined all comment. Network President Jimmy Pitaro decreed that its employees should avoid all political talk unless they're reporting on issues raised by sports figures. Listen to us online at usaradio.com. For USA Radio News, I'm John Hunt.